All right. Hi, it's Chris from Flights of Helios here, and I've got Ben. Hi. Hi, hi, and there he is in, in shot now. We've also got Krazy, who's just uh, kind of listening in. Um, so we're going to talk through some of uh, the, the guitar parts for Blame, our recent single, and have a look at Ben's beautiful... Look at that. It's like, a, it's like mission that. control. <laughs> it's like a very small mission control <laughs> for a small, small mission. <laughs> guitar mission to Mars. <laughs> guitar mission to Mars is yeah. totally your 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 uh, solo album, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, so let's have a, what. So blame. Um, how do your how do the um, how does your guitar part in the verse? There are sort go? of four parts in blame. It's a very rhythmic guitar part in the main. Um, uh, it's around E, but don't mm -hmm. play the fifth, so it's just two octaves. <laughs> And it's, there's a little descendy bass part that I just sort of chuck in over the bottom. It's that kind of thing. Well, I thought of it more as a kind of, you know, as a guitar player in glasses. I was like, well, let's maybe channel another guitar player in glasses. And that's a very Graham Coxon kind of thing, I thought. That's, none of the rest of it sounds anything like him, <laughs> I don't think. Um, it needs a bit, it's a bit of a grittier sound than that. So I used this hotcake pedal all the way from New Zealand. An interesting fact, they were they're made by the guy that was in Split Ends in no. the 1970s. Really? So, yeah. So, the drummer, I think, made it for the uh, who are the brothers who are in oh Crowded House, Crowded House, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the Finn brothers. So yeah. mm -hmm. um, I think there was a phase like in the nineties, every band would go over to New Zealand, and all the New Zealand bands would have this pedal because he he just that's that was kind of the local pedal maker. Yeah. But um, it mm -hmm. sounds really good with a Voxy style amp. Oh yeah, what, what, is, what amp have you got? Um, this is a Vice. This is amazing amp. I got this from a guy who is about. In his 60s, and he makes amps um, in a workshop in the back of his house in North London, uh, in South London. And, and so he's got this sort of, um, he's got this, not, not, he's not like a, an assistant, this guy who was also really good, but he's in his 50s. So I think the, the, the guy that runs the company is getting old now, handing it over to somebody else. Um, but he makes uh, hand-wired versions of like, these classic amps. Mm. And so that's what that is. But it, that works really well with that. It's like a box amp from the 60s. It's yeah. like a yep. box amp from the 60s, mm -hmm. and then with the hot cake, it just gives it a bit more grip. Nice, nice. Not a massive difference, but mm -hmm. just a bit chunkier. Yep. Um, into the verse part, um, which is a bit of a stretch. So it just, so it just has that, that ringing note out, so which had double on the G string as well, just to, just to keep that ringing out over the chord changes. And that's it. That just goes round and round. And then uh, obviously it obviously goes back to our... <coughs> um, so it does, just that goes round twice, really. So I keep it nice and simple. Mm. Otherwise I get confused. Um, <laughs> and then... And then towards the end, there's a bit of sort of uh, delay frenzy. Um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think where we get to. So actually, after the build up towards the end of the song. This is the, the very cheap off eBay rat copy <laughs> that does has a little switch on it that makes That's it great. sound different. It's got blue lights on it, which are like red lights. It's like how many how many 
red lights of rock do you want when you're playing? Obviously all of them. Um, There's a very famous song from the 60s that has got a similar thing to that. That's true. Um, <laughs> you know, we were quite satisfied with it. So, um, and then uh, <laughs> after, uh, nice. after that, um, it, then it goes into this really simple thing on the delay pedal. So uh, on the, the line six box mm. of everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That has a version of everything in it mm -hmm. and does lots of things. Um, but there's this, there's this really simple thing with the delay, which is just... And then I turn the repeats up just for noise frenzy. That sort of thing, um, and that's the end of the song. Normally, that was great, and that's that's all. That's everything I play. Brilliant. So you can come along to a gig, and then you can play that, and I can have a side five minutes off. <laughs> you got any any words as the as the in house audience? Uh, no, uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> great stuff. Cheers, guys. Thanks, man. Bye, bye.